Unless you're kind of foggy. <laughs> Good morning. Day 11. And this is where we slept. This is the fifth one since we went to sleep last night. <laughs> it's 6.25 in the morning. It's a good alarm clock, I guess. Yeah, it's time to get up. Wait for it, wait for it. Maybe this one's going slower. Probably not. Probably not. Approaching our 100 mile mark, forever long, and we've decided we will do a little celebration every 100 miles, and we're stealing the celebration from, I think it was, what's the name of it, Champions with Woody Harrelson? Yeah. I, don't, I, I think, look for Champions. Um, run over um anyway it's a basketball movie it's a basketball movie it is so it is endearing it'll make you laugh a few moments of sadness it was a really good and inspiring movie and but it there's inspired Laura for her dance. it did there's one player that Don't talk about it. i am i am gonna tell him he takes he celebrates every shot no, make any of them. getting closer whether he makes them or not actually no. anyway he celebrates every shot, and we're stealing one of his celebratory moves. 
for every 100 miles. So when we get there, we'll stop and do a little video to celebrate our 100 miles from Champions. Lest we forget to tell you later, and I'll try to remember it better in detail, but a side note is that Boiling Springs, PA is a beautiful little town. So if you're ever in the area, passing through, or just want to make it your destination, a lot of history, um, still quaint, it's just fantastic, fantastic. So look it up, Bowling Springs, PA. We are at the rock wall. We are half a mile, 100 miles. And Laura's clearing like a new ink first because she's so excited about opening her mouth. Okay, here it is, guys. It's 100 miles of the IT. Walking through the equivalent of a mud wallow today. And I cannot video much because I am just slip sliding away. Just tiptoeing through here. Is this the best I can do? But we've got like an extra pound of mud on our shoes. <laughs> I like it when the trail gets interesting. I'm glad these are dry today because it's been so wet and these things have been slick as catch. <laughs> Slobber. <laughs> Must be a very unique feature. I've never seen a cemetery where the ground is actually raised up. Maybe it's so rocky that it's hard to dig a hole. It's easier just to add dirt. The Chambers family, it looks like. It's very interesting. Right on the AT, on the AT, you come to places that you have to cross fences, and people are bad about not closing gaps. So they build bridges and stuff, or not bridges, but ladders, steps, or whatever, to, to get over. And this is our first one to do, and hopefully Laura won't fall. She has bad experiences and stuff like this. All right, and that was exciting. We're here changing our backpack at REI. How's your experience been so far? Pleasurable? It's been wonderful. All right. So you like that backpack better? Is it because it's blue? No, it has nothing to do with the color. Okay. So you're not picking it because of colors? It could have been poop green or uh, any other thing. Baby poop, could it have been poop, baby poop yellow? Yes. All right. That, that brown up there would have been just as, just as good as long as it feels better. All right. It's oatmeal brown, I believe. Oatmeal brown. So we're at the REI in Mechanicsburg. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, and you've been treated fairly. Yes. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. All right, not here right now, but everybody, today is day number. Day 12, can you see it? All right, today's day 12. About to leave the hotel, headed back to the trail. We're running a little behind, but we had stuff to do video. We've got quite a few of them loaded up. They're a real good job. Uh, day 12 is going to be brought to you by Robin Snowgrove. Uh, Robin Ray Snowgrove is probably, if she has her wishes, is on the Pincote Trail in Alabama. So if you need any tips on that trail, look up Robin Ray Snowgrove. I don't know if she charges for the guide, but she will give you a guide. Happily. Happily. Day 12. See y'all soon. Our Uber's about to pull up. We're getting that very last bit of clean smell and hope it lasts until the next shower. Yeah, next shower, seven days. At least probably. Ew.
that new backpack. It's working pretty good. She's moving today. Of course, she was moving with the other backpack. But this is beautiful. Nice feel. Good hay feel. Got some weed over there. But she's moving on. Okay. Deep thoughts for the day. Bill's coming up behind me. I have no idea what he's singing, but we're, lock, we're walking along this trail that's just kind of trenched into all of these massive fields and stuff that they've planted. And frequently we run across these little rocks and boulders that are still buried in the earth here. And I, <laughs> my mind goes back to the, what the early settlers would have gone through when they were trying to build themselves a home and establish themselves in this country and what they <laughs> I can't imagine running into those rocks and stuff and trying to sow seeds and stuff to feed my family in a future. It's incredible what they must have gone through. Anyway, that's my deep thoughts for the day. Deep thoughts in the four foot grass? <laughs> yeah, I'm moving. Here's a little walking by. See through the trees. This little pathway is nice though. It helps with the bumbling and stumbling. There comes old Laura. Taking the celebrity trail, flat. If she falls here, it's just because she's clumsy, not because it's dangerous. Bill totally just made up some BS about needing to dump a rock out of his shoe. He just wanted me to go first so I'd catch all the cobwebs. I'm much more prone to dawdling in the morning, but look, this is their walk this morning. Walking along this lovely little river, so it's just, it's not pretty high because I don't see any rocks down there, but it's enjoyable to, to listen to. Adds a bit of coolness on a day that's gonna be pretty warm today. It was around 88, 80, I don't know. Anyway, hot for hiking. There's that car. Does anyone ever know how it got here? Ever? Anyone? Just in case you're wondering. It's hot today. It's very, very hot. Whew. It doesn't seem fun. But she's very far. I think we've climbed almost just under a thousand feet. I should be leveling off up here. Thank goodness, I left the bill still taking a heart rate break. That's what we call it, heart rate break. Oh, no, we're still going up. Ugh. Hi. Ugh. Blessed to be. There's a breeze up here. We're going to climb. Actually, I left Bill. He is, I don't, I don't know how. Which way? Hold on. I'll show you the way. At this moment, someone decided it was no longer worth it. Okay. This is how you climb. I'm sitting on this wonderful little bench, waiting on Bill. He'll be so surprised when he gets here. I was gonna go into the shelter, but um, look how pretty. Guys, it's so pretty. Oh, it makes the fact that I'm so sweaty. Uh. It's worth it. <laughs> we climbed all that way. We were down there. We were walking through those fields. I recently met a new hiker friend who said, when you come to a good rock, sit on it. <laughs> Check it out. 30 minutes later, I caught it with you. I said that one. We're taking our lunch break on day 12. We've 
got to close out day 11 and talk about some of the things that were yesterday. Uh, yesterday was, I know that was a heck of a climb we just did. Woo, it was a doozy. Um, yesterday was really nice. It was muddy, but it was an easy walk. Yeah, we left uh, Water Springs. Mm -hmm. Water Springs is a really nice place. Not a history that is really nice. We really enjoyed it. Had a good breakfast there. Post office visit. Had some uh, one of the hikers named Rangers. So gave us some cookies. And family showed up and overloaded them with food. So we got some baked cookies. He stayed with some friends. I think they sent him off with like four pounds of fresh baked food, fresh food and stuff. So he was kind enough to share the cookies. Were quite delicious. So and he is. He may not want us telling off. His friends will find out. He can't believe the food. Okay. <laughs> he goes by his YouTube channel is Teddy on the Trail. And he goes by Ranger on the Trail and he carries the glitter. He was a nice guy. Um, we saw, I did not get it on camera because I wasn't fast enough. Bill thought I was hurt or something, is why I stopped or was looking at flowers. But I stopped because there was a pretty little fox. Oh no, that was the deer. That was the, the fox ran across from this. Yeah, I wasn't fast enough to get the fox. I did get the deer on video. There were two uh, pretty little bucks in felt. They were pretty. Is it felt or built? I don't know. <laughs> Is it felt or velvet? I'm tired. I'm tired of Someone answer that question because so, we should know that as yeah, Southerners. And, uh, so we hiked into. Mechanicsburg, Carlisle area, got off the trail and called an Uber. And, uh, the Uber took us to REI, where we are, got a new tank. And it's working out very well. Um, that is something that I will recommend to anyone. It's actually going in store and getting a uh, pack fitted to your frame. It makes a difference. Um, it's carrying much better. Um, so. Well, we've done six miles today, and the last two were hard, so her pack's holding up pretty good. We went from REI, we went to the Wyndham Hotel, and I called out Mechanicsburg. I don't know, it's one big sprawl in the metropolis, so it really, really work. And we stayed the night there, Laura put videos together, mm -hmm. and uh, I watched the Weapons. It was the original one, wasn't it? It was just the first Anyway. I also watched the Waterboy and Waterboy. Oh yeah, what was on the way You can do it. We needed that. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it, what a boy. That's how I feel. Um, I think that was it for yesterday. Yeah. Today? Yeah, yeah, yesterday was like we had we walked the, the fields again, uh, through the pastures and all that stuff. But it's nice, it's not much shade down there, it's not it's warm but it's not Mississippi hot, so it's not bad. Uh, the farmhouses, the farms are really impressive the size of them and just the past fields are amazing. I needed hydration though, so forgive me. Yeah. Uh, now yesterday was a good day. Today's today's a good day. It's a, it's a, it's not bad. It's a little hard coming. We the last two miles were tough. But we, when you see the pictures and the videos for day twelve, you'll see that we started off very, very low altitude, about three ninety eight, and we're right at eleven hundred now. Over eleven hundred. We, we were like eleven ten when I when we took the stop down there on the, at the overlook and we could climb yeah, and and we, that. we walked four miles without climbing any, so the whole climb was the last two miles. Yeah. But we so, feel good. Yeah, but yesterday, I feel good. You I, feel good? I feel good. I felt really good yesterday. I took a shower last night and kind of just gone now, so <laughs> yeah, there is a, I, it's it's gonna it's on the video, but someone dumped their, their deodorant along that climb. They just said yeah. forget it. Evidently, it was a girl just because of the brand, yeah. but well, kudos to her for trying this long. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday was a good day. It was it was a knee rope. I call it a knee rope because we only hiked half the day, but we hiked you seven did. miles. It was over seven. Or about like eight miles in half mm -hmm. a day, but still, we didn't hike with three hours yesterday, four hours. We didn't want about three hours we hiked yesterday, so we got a lot of miles in, but the ground was leveled more or less. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so today, we're going to try to get, we got six in, try to get seven more. Moving them up. Later.
probably good. Josh Cox is coming to the show. It's going in the video. Well, just let me say. I am happy to be wherever the heck we are. Oh my god. Close down shelter. She was looking pretty. Hey, looking pretty good. Are you, are you gonna leave the little okay. soul patch too uh -huh. that's showing up? Well, the rest of you can't see because it's white. <laughs> you didn't show up in the red light. But that mustache is dripping. We may good. try that. We uh, may try it. Everybody says mustache is red. Okay. Well, well right. um, today was hard. Yes, very hard. This was by far the hardest day. Uh, day 12. 13.6 miles, and looking at the map, we knew there were some much. We climbed two mountains today, and uh, we were expecting the tough climbs, but what we did not know was there, because it doesn't show on the book, was roughly three miles of rocks. The <laughs> Pennsylvania rocks. Rocksylvania rocks. They are uh, tough on your ankles, they're tough on your feet. Uh, we were not expecting that. No, I'm actually do pretty good just on the rocks that are in not, you know, boulder climbing. But the uphills were serious today and they they kinda of wore me down a little bit. I got a little grouchy, but <laughs> just a tiny bit. I just it it was more than I was mentally expecting or prepared for today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the ups are hard, but I can sit down and take a break and rest and I'm ready to go. I may only go 10, 20 yards or whatever, but you can get up. The rocks are hard because you're moving on your feet. You use your trekking poles and you hit the ground and then the trekking poles go a foot to the ground. Yeah, I actually I did better not using my trekking poles yeah. when we were going across the rocks. Right. I just kind of step where the rocks aren't, or if they're small enough. I don't know, I do, I just, that part's pretty good for me. If I didn't use a trick and pole, I wouldn't have made it across. <laughs> so I have 13 shoes. Yeah, I do have smaller feet. So I don't have little feet, but I have smaller feet. But it was not a bad day, it was just a hard day. Yeah, so we went from, um, what was that? Shelter? No, we didn't stay shelter. Uh, yeah, we stayed in Mechanicsburg. New, new backpack um, worked well today, so that's good. And we came to this, this something Mountain Cove shelter. Cove Mountain. Cove Mountain. I don't know. Mountain Cove. So, it's a nice shelter. It's two tents off the trail, straight down the hill, but we're straight up to the morning. Yeah. That's nice. bugs that have been bothering us all, all day today in the open shelter. Um, I guess, otherwise, oh, it was buggy today, too. I put my, my head, oh, my head. <laughs> yes. oh, to, um, tomorrow we're going to Dunn Cannon. Dunn Cannon is four miles downhill from here. Cannon is a real nice town. Uh, we have not had a we have not had a real zero yet. And uh, we'll okay. Probably, okay. what we'll probably do what we'll probably do is get the gun cannon and maybe they've got a hostel down there, maybe stay at the hostel. May take two nights off. It's been it's been pretty tough. Lars, Adam, we have not had a Nero 
We hiked eight miles one of the but we only hiked three well, hours. Well, I just said we haven't had a zero. We ain't had a zero. We ain't come close to a zero, but we had two Nero's. One Nero was five miles. That's the, other Nero, the other Nero was eight hours. Eight miles. Eight miles. All right. Okay. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.